welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a capsule wardrobe for spring. I do this every year and this time it's going to be just a little bit different. I feel like it's going to be a little less dressy, more seamless, effortless, easy, cool, and a bit more casual I feel like because now that Presley is older, I'm kind of just wanting that. Um, she's way more active and so I don't have much time to be getting ready but like I still want to look really really chic. It's kind of going to be like the way that I want to be dressing from here on out um, especially for the hot weather. So if you're interested in this video stay tuned. I also have been getting a lot of good feedback from you guys about the vlogs that I've been doing incorporating things like this with a try on and then like daily life. Um, so you guys really liked the last one so I'm just going to keep doing it. Um, but I wanted to say thank you for all the really good feedback. So with that, let's begin. I showed this recently. So I am really into these sets, um, but more like chic linen types of sets. So this was from the brand Dish. It's a three-piece. Um, you can buy them separately, but I really like this because you can definitely mix and match with other items in your closet. So in this capsule wardrobe, I only have one pair of jeans and one pair of denim shorts, which I feel like you only need one pair of both to like really survive, as long as it's like a really, really well-fitting pair that goes well with heels and flat shoes. Then you're golden. So I have these shorts from Abled E. So this is another way that I could wear this top and like bralette and obviously you could wear these shorts with any of the items that I have here on the rack. Alright so I switched out the little bralette top for this seamless one. This one's from Aritzia. It's the life bra. So I could have used that one but this is more seamless. This is why I'm really big on basic pieces that are just plain but really good quality because you're going to need those seamless plain basic pieces um, and you're going to wear it with everything in your closet pretty much. So this is another look. You could literally keep the base and change out the outerwear. And then here is basically the same outfit. I just changed out the shoes. So you notice I only have three pairs of shoes, one like semi high heel, then a flat, which is my Hermes Oran sandal, and then a lace up because there's gonna be days when I just wanna slip on. There's gonna be days when I wanna dress it up a little bit but be comfortable, which is why I have these heels on. And then um, there's gonna be days where a slip on may not feel as dressy or fancy so then I have the lace up which will just give any outfit like that little bit of like oomph. So there's that and of course if you're not comfortable with this bralette you could just wear like a simple tank. Even a high neck tank would be really cute. Alright so here is basically the same exact outfit um, but I'm just wearing it with the one pair of jeans that I have on the rack. Now this pair is what's going to be able to be paired with everything else on the rack. Um, so these jeans, every time I post it, I get thousands of clicks and thousands of comments on where I got them. So I will link it for you guys. These are literally just Zara jeans and literally the only pair I wear. That's why I only need one pair of jeans on this rack because they're just like a straight leg. They look really good with heels and they also work with sneakers and flats. All right, next up I have this dress. It's nothing new. I've had it for over a year now, but there's something to be said about a one shoulder dress. Um, I love this dress so much. The color, the comfort, it's like just cotton, um, but you could definitely dress it up and dress it down. Here I am wearing it with these um, flat shoes. And then here I'm just gonna throw it on with this blazer and it looks gorgeous which you guys have already seen me wear this blazer so many ways and this is exactly why it's in or on this rack and part of my capsule wardrobe so there is one way to be chic and like kind of dress down at the same time and then of course all i need to do to transform it is throw on these heels and then I'm just like ready for a nighttime dinner or just anything, you know, if I want to be fancy. And so this is nice because the blazer you can wear with everything. This dress you could wear alone with a blazer, with flats, with heels. Here is this dress. Um, I have about three dresses on this rack as my capsule wardrobe for spring um, just because it's easy. It's easy and it's cute and you could add any type of outerwear, dress it up, dress it down. Um, I also have two hats on here because I could not resist the bucket hat. I've had this for over a year and I've grown to love it more and more and more. And since, you know, I've had it, the bucket hat in this type of like straw 
material has become so popular. So definitely still loving this hat. So here I'm just wearing it casually. If I wanted to, I could add the blazer over it. I could also make it a little more casual by throwing on this oversized button down shirt that I was wearing in the beginning, just like this. Pull up the sleeves or roll it, make it a little less like dressy and more like a jacket. There's that. You could tie it if you wanted to. All right, here's a piece that's really effortless that I had to add in. You guys have seen this in my recent like spring haul. So this is that vest, which vests are like coming back, but this is in this case like a longer version. I'm only 5'1", so for me I can get away if I wanted to kind of wear it as a dress. Um, but here I'm just kind of wearing it casually. Underneath though, I have a pair of shorts and my bralette that I was wearing in the beginning. So I could wear it closed up the way I had it or opened up just like this. And then I could also change out the shorts for the denim shorts. Um, or also I could interchange these with other, other items on this rack as well. So white is just such a color that I love. So that's why I always have a lot of white. Um, I do get a lot asked a lot about like, how do I wear white around a toddler or Presley? Um, and I don't know, I just do. I'm just careful. Uh, she has baby wipes that I can wipe around. She sits in a high chair now. So she's kind of like a bit away from me. If white is not your color, maybe lean towards more beiges or darker colors. So there's this. And this is also like a jacket that you could wear with other things in your closet. You could even throw this on over some of these mini dresses that I showed you. I could even add my hat if I wanted to. So cute. And then this is a totally different way. Wearing it like this with heels and just like a little clutch bag will completely transform this into like a brunch outfit. All right, so here is where I'd kind of incorporate these shoes, but you can definitely wear it with anything else on the rack. Um, it also looks really good with denim. So this is kind of repetitive, but I felt like I'd be cheating if I didn't share, but this is kind of like what I will be wearing, kind of like the gist. Um, so you guys saw the white version, and here is a more fun um, printed stripe version. It's by the same brand, but yeah, this to me is just easy. It's also versatile because I could change up the shorts for the denim ones. I could also change out the bralette for the white one, um, which I'll show next. But this is just the idea of what easy breezy, effortless, chic, and minimal style I would be having. Oh, also forgot to note if you haven't already noticed, I do have like these thick hoops and then this necklace right here. Um, and that's pretty much what I will be wearing as well. They kind of go with everything basically pretty much. And then my hair, I have this little half up, half down pony um, with a clip. I also love outfits like this with like a sleek low bun, which I've been doing a lot lately and that's what I will be looking like. So basically just something like this would be just really easy, effortless, cute, and just very summery. Could even add a hat. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my capsule wardrobe. I wanted it to be really, really simple and like the least amount of pieces. Um, so the next three items are just extras that I wasn't sure if I was going to add in, but I also just kind of feel like I may be reaching for it a lot for like last minute outfit ideas for like a different feel and vibe for something not too casual. The first item is this dress. I really love the elegance, the simplicity, the neckline. I love that it's just subtle stripes and it has a print, but it's not anything crazy. It's a classic stripe print. It is on the pricey side, but for for me, I can see myself wearing this a bunch. It does have a slit opening in the back so you can easily walk in or walk around with it. Um, I'm wearing it casually with my sandals, but this is one of those dresses that you can definitely dress up or dress down, throw on a black blazer, black heels. It's just so, so pretty. All right, next up I have these effortless pants from Aritzia in this like mushroom color. Um, so these have been really, really popular and a lot of girls are wearing these with sneakers. Um, I haven't really pulled off that look. Um, and also they're a little bit long on me. I would have to get them altered if I wanted to wear it with sneakers. So I'm wearing it with the same heels. Um, and this is just more for like kind of nights out. Um, I definitely like wearing these types of pants and making it more edgy with like crop tops. You could also throw on the vest that I had earlier for just more of like a complete 
um, but still effortless type of look or even just dress it down even more with the um, button down shirt just like this so many ways you can wear it which is why I kind of added this pant in all right here is the effortless pants again this time in a linen um, a linen white so there's a lot of linen on here it's kind of gonna be a big thing in my closet during these warmer months these I pre-ordered, so I've had these for a long time. I don't even know if you can pre-order them anymore, if they're even still available. But any similar like white linen pants you can get your hands on is such a staple and so refreshing. Um, and they are linen, and I do have a lot of linen. With that being said, I'm very okay with the wrinkles that linen brings. It just brings like a very Saint-Tropez effortless, like easy vibe. Um, and I th think people understand when it comes to linen that it's supposed to be wrinkly it's not going to be anything perfect um, and I think that's what makes it a little more wearable and more casual so I love it paired like this with this um, shirt I had on earlier can also wear it with this blazer this makes it a little more dressy this is something I would like throw on um, I don't know to go to lunch with just like my little Bottega pouch um, or brunch and it just looks really really effortless and really cute so again, I hope you guys enjoyed that portion of this capsule wardrobe video. So basically, capsule wardrobe is stuff that you literally can wear with each other, mix and match, and it's a minimal amount of items. So um, if you want to purchase a lot of these items, I will link them down below. I will say that this blazer I've had for a long time, it's hard to kind of find these striped blazers so you're not going to get the exact one that I have this is from ASOS but I will link a bunch of other ones as well as these white lace-up shoes um, these I got in Italy so I will link similar shoes for those okay guys so I just had lunch I am so sleepy. Um, the weather here in LA right now is very gloomy, which is super rare. So I feel like it affects all of us that aren't used to the weather. It's like sunny every single day. So when it does get gloomy, I feel like I just get a little bit slower. So also didn't help, I ate lunch. But um, I wanted to talk to you guys about, well, it's like I've been losing sleep over it and it's been bothering me. I still don't know what to do. There's many, many, many factors to this. I'm open to suggestions and what you guys think. It's literally my master bedroom walls. <laughs> okay, so basically um, we're kind of redesigning our home just with furniture. We're not really doing anything major. So the first room we started on was our master bedroom. So, we ordered our furniture, that was fine. Um, we ordered artwork as well. So the artwork came, two art of the artwork pieces were mirrors and then the other two were actual art. Um, I didn't like the mirrors, so I sent it back. I am keeping the other art for our powder room downstairs because I didn't really end up loving it for this room. So then I was thinking maybe I won't do art and I will do something else. So I am really into like that whole plaster, Venetian plaster type of look, but this house has a lot of this like wainscoting and molding all throughout which I didn't want to take out because it's just such intricate work. So anyway, my designer and I had this like idea or suggestion to do the like Roman clay type of almost Venetian plaster looking paint on the top half, which is what you see. So right now, this is the correct paint that we have. It's like a beigey, sandy clay type of color. So originally I wanted to go with a more cool toned wall color. So then we did that. It was it used to be a lot more gray than what it is right now um, because I wanted some kind of contrast. I didn't want it to blend too much with our bed. So we did that in the beginning and you know I thought it was fine. I sat with it for almost a month um, and I realized that something was off you know like it was making our bed look pink and then we started getting more accessories like some pillows and then we had these pillows that looked green so whenever i would put these pillows these green pillows on top of my bed it would make the wall color look even more green and the bed look even more pink i'm going to show you what i'm talking about so i don't know if you guys can see this photo but this was the old 
wall color. It's like very, very cold and gray. Um, and then these pillows made the wall and the pillows look green, which in turn made our bed look pink. So right now, our walls are way, way warmer. I'll show you a better picture. Okay, so this is a good indication photo of like what um, the color was and then what we like sampled yesterday to fix it. So this was the color here, the original color. I even put a note. And then this post right here is what we changed it to just yesterday. I even put here with an arrow the new color. So you can see the warmth, how much warmer the post is right here versus this like grayish color that we originally had, which we wanted. It's just paint is so hard because I did swatch the paint, but it wasn't like it was like a foot by a foot swatch. And I probably should have swatched like three feet by three feet at least. But once they did the cool tone color for the whole room, um, it was just a totally different vibe than what I was thinking. That's when I called the painter and I told him, you know, how I felt. He did an amazing job. It's not his fault. It's the color I chose. Um, he came the next day and he said, okay, what I want to try to do and we'll just sample it, which is why there's that sample photo. So I'm gonna mix some like brown tones, like a butterscotchy clear coat and put it over it. And he thought that that would help and I feel like it definitely helped light years. Like I was so stressed out about the whole paint situation that I was just about ready to go back to white walls. Like I'm fine with white walls um, and I was just so impatient about it and that's why I couldn't sleep um, because I just spent so much time and money already on like, you know, the new furniture and then the walls and then it not being the right color. Like I had to pay him again to try to fix it yesterday. So when he did the clear coat on the walls and left, I was still like not sure about it. You know, it's just like something already happened that made me feel a certain way. So the second time around, I just felt like nothing was gonna fix it unless I went back to white wall colors. All right, so here is basically the room. Um, and then here's like our floor shot. So yeah, I am so much more happy with the way that this looks. Mind you, we are getting rid of these shades and we're getting white linen shades along with white linen drapes um, for all the windows. So that's what I was talking about. This wall here, you can see like the movement of the paint. You can see the movement um, above the bed frame too. Uh, so yeah, I'm a lot more happy with this. This bed is an ivory bed. I just also had white pillows there. So I changed out the pillows for some like brown ones in hopes that that would help. Those are those darn green pillows. <laughs> so then I also changed out these pillows right here. It used to be those green pillows and now we have the white. We are still waiting on our bed sheets. Um, so that's gonna be like a nude color. So with the pillows in the front are also gonna be a nude color. You guys let me know what you think. I also think that the lighting of this room plays in to the color of the bed because when you look at it up close, it definitely is like an ivory color bed. But then the lighting, because it's more dark on this back side, I don't know, it gives off a weird like color from far. I don't know if it's because of the bulbs. I don't know if it's because it's darker back here and like brighter up in the front. This is also like the entrance view. Um, and this is what it looks like from this side. But yeah, I'm gonna say this right now. Like when I'm looking at the screen when I'm recording, the color of the bed looks different versus me standing in the room itself. When I'm looking at the bed in the room, it looks a lot more like yellow undertone or like beige undertone. When I'm looking at it on the camera screen, it looks more pink. So that's the issue that I'm having. But you guys let me know what you think, if you think I should go back to white walls or stick to this. So yeah, here's more the whole view of the room in case you wanted to see. Good morning. Good morning. Whoop, whoop. 
<laughs> Good morning. Hey, are you closing me out? Goodbye. Hi, cutie. Did you wake up from your nap? Hey, did you wake up from your nap? Hi. <laughs> Look at your little curls. Look at your little curly hair. Say hi. All right. I also literally just got this Zara dress in the mail. Um, it's really cute. Uh, I just don't know about this part right here. Like I wish it could just be, you know, one like type of knitting straight down instead of this crochet random like area. Um, I also just ate. So I don't know, you guys let me know. It's like a burnt orange, orangey color. Also, I wanted to note that when I am holding the camera up to the mirror and filming like this, do you notice how the bed is more white? Yeah, it's very confusing. Um, but that's like more the color that I see in person. So see, from this angle, it's like more on the white side. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna do two things right now. I am going to whiten my teeth, doing it with the Crest White Strips. Um, my teeth will definitely be sensitive. Okay. Now the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna have a lisp <laughs> because of the whitening, but a bunch of you guys requested and people on Instagram requested to show how I do my little like top knot tutorial and it's like really like sticking up at the top. Um, I had curled hair um, whenever I showed it. The curling part is not anything crazy. Curl your hair how you want to curl it. I'm using this one and a half inch barrel. one side of my hair curled so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera okay so my hair is all curled just brush it out with a paddle brush right here just to make it all smooth and not like clumped together so now I'll take a thin ponytail or hair tie like this you could use one of those clear ones if you wanted to then just grab a section of the hair it's all up to you where you want to start. So we're gonna go ahead and tie it up. Hopefully this one doesn't break on me. Okay, so there we go. You're gonna kind of get a natural bump, especially when you start pulling it from behind. So this is where I take my bobby pin. This is what's gonna give us the lift in the back. So here I have my bobby pin. Then I'm just going to go behind, just in there, go down the hair, and pull back. You have it sticking up <laughs> nicely, just like that. And you could also pull the bobby pin up or down, depending on how high you want, like the volume. So then I am going to take a piece of hair from the pony and wrap it around the pony or the hair tie a couple times just like that and then I'm just going to stick it back under the body pin to secure it this part sticking up it's not doing me any favors right now but you guys get the idea so a couple ways I'll just clean it up, you know, with these flyaways using like something like this, like the hair stick or the whey pomade is really good too because it gives like a matte finish. So you could get a toothbrush or use your fingers, what have you, um, and just kind of like smoothing it all out. But basically, that is pretty much it. Except for this little guy right here, but I could always taper that down. And then I will like go like this. Hold it down, and that's the look.
Did you get home from a walk? Did you have a nice walk? Where are you going? Busy. Oh, your friends are outside. Yeah? The gardeners came to cut the grass? He's your friends. Hi. Outside? Look. Give me a hug. Oh. <laughs> Okay, my camera died, but basically, this is the pasta that I made. Having a nice bath? Yeah. Yeah. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. <laughs> Hi, cutie. You sleepy girl. Say goodnight, everybody. <laughs>